Hello, dear friends, lovely audiences. Welcome to the East West Show. Jack Chow with the GNE TV. Uh, for quite a bit, the uh, Korean Peninsula situation has been on the table, on the talks, on the lips, on everybody's lips, uh, ever since. All right. Uh, that guy, Gin Jong Un, uh, never stops shooting. He is shooting again and again and again. We never stopped the warning. We warned again and again and again until we all come to a point that we believe something's going to break uh, war, namely. Uh, well, there are people who, are, who think they are more sober-minded say that uh, there might not be a war, the war might not break, and uh, should it be a war, should there not be a war, there are China involved, there are other forces involved, and there is Russia, there is South Korea, there is Japan, right? Altogether, well, we're talking about a mess there. Yep. We're talking about an overall situation. We're not only considering uh, North Korea and the United States, we have to think about something else. Now, uh, to the question, should there be a war, not be a war, I have uh, invited my friend, Ken Hemming, uh, so close to me, and a philosopher that I adore, who I adore so much, With you. and a man of quality, man of uh, integrity and uh, constitution. I right? hope so. Of yes, sir. So, Ken Hemming, welcome to the show. My joy is being with you and your viewers, Jack. I'm humbled by it. Thank All you. All right, very good. Thank you very much, John. I mean, again, uh, sometimes the one. Yeah. Yeah. Whoever yeah. I am, yeah. doesn't matter. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, I'm kidding. All right. I know. Okay. No, I know. I'm kidding. I know you as, as, <laughs> as, 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 the, as the back of my hand. All right. That's right. So, okay. That's I right. can't. Okay, now, so do you think there is uh, going to be a war? Well, obviously, every human being of sensitivity wishes there is no death, there is no war. Mm -hmm. the, 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 the history of, of the Korean Peninsula is very interesting, mm -hmm. okay, because at different points in time, Russia, China, and Japan have all wanted to rule Korea, and Japan mm -hmm. had, in way back in the 1600s, mm -hmm. 2 million or 25 percent of the people in Korea fought off the Mongols. Uh, Two million died, and they did uh, then succumb to the Qing Dynasty rule. Okay, mm -hmm. so it's a the history is very complicated, and and in preparing for this show, Jack, I you know I'm mm -hmm. looking at everything I can, and one thing is which is interesting. There's 7,100 languages on planet Earth. In Korean, is the 13th most spoken language with uh, 77 million people speaking it. And what's interesting is it was only 500 years ago where they started the ability to write and communicate. Otherwise, it was all just uh, colloquial talking. Language, yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. Colloquial but anyway, it's yeah. very interesting. So their history, uh, you know, they have a they, ha they were not imperialistic. They did not go attack anybody else. Mm. They've been attacked a lot of times. So I don't know exactly why other than people want more influence over their people. Mm. But, but the, the commentators talk about three different areas, uh, kind of the uh, people that want a regime change. And, and President Trump, he says, I'm not really interested in regime change. I'm just interested in denuclearizing. Then there's the people uh, that want to make glorious bargains to have peace uh, if they denuclearize. So they're bargainers, they call them. And then there's people that are the China pushers that want China to make it happen because China can make anything happen mm -hmm. it wants to mm -hmm. with North Korea. All right. So, and so far, none mm -hmm. of those have worked. Yeah. We will, pull, of course, uh, peel down in layer by layer mm -hmm. to see what exactly is inside the mm -hmm. core, right? But first of all, to get a response to, to, yeah. to your subject of talking, going back into the history right. of the peninsula, I would say my word, my take is that it is exactly the geological position of their land, of the land <laughs> that makes it. Their peninsula. Yeah. yeah. If you look at a map, though, 
you could take Korea, including South Korea, as a gateway to Asia, to Europe. Sure, sure. Right? right. That's the very east end of that continent, mm -hmm. of that continent. So with a little kind of L shaping right. down here, yeah. right? Just separates Japan from the continent. Correct. Right? Okay, now, anybody, Correct, yeah. anybody, anybody, including Japan, who has a wish to put a hand mm -hmm. into Asia, mm -hmm. into Europe, even though further away, or Russia, for example, mm -hmm. right? They might have, must have, an interest with the gateway land. Right. That's one thing. Right. Right. Uh -huh. And that's strategically perfect. Yes, that's one thing. <laughs> yeah. And you, if you look at China, though, that's the closest neighbor, and the land connected. To, yeah, they together, touch. Yeah. Uh, the land neighbor. Right? Yeah. So, while well, China used to have a very friendly relation with North Korea, right? And uh, through this generation, well, starting the second generation, things were kind of going south. And now this guy is not, e li not even listening at all. He's not. So, China is kind of a, well, knowing not what to do. And on the other hand, the connection the supply connection is more or less to the people. The people will die, right? They, now, they let them starve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They would, Part if, of their you, program. if nobody gives them oil, give them food, right. and Kim Jong-un would uh, not even care who dies. Who he doesn't, doesn't die. he doesn't. So yeah. China kind of like, uh, kind of holding the crying baby as their baby and had to be keep on doing what they do. Well, see, both China and Russia, and, and, and you might disagree with this, and I could be wrong too, seem to be helping North Korea sustain itself, uh, you know, through trade primarily. Uh, and, and with that, if, the, if in the, the, the economy of North Korea is growing a little bit, but wherever that growth goes, it goes into the government and the military, not to the people. Yeah, that's right. That's and half think, right. Yeah, half right. That's half. The second second part is right. Yeah. Because any gain of the economy goes to their military, goes their, to their missiles. Yeah. That's one thing. And for that, the uh, average Korean people do not get even a benefit. No. They don't even get the mouth, the food to the mouth, right? No. For that. Uh, I'm, I said I was a little uh, uh, in a little disagreement with you, was the former part, okay. saying that Russia support and uh, China support, they are not supporting the Ruxin. They are doing that for the people, for the Korean people. They are dying. Nobody cares about them. And now, well, that's, uh, yeah. we all care. I care about I know, them, I know. but we can't help we them. We now look back into history. We now look back into history. Mm -hmm. It's been there on the way. They live on China food, on Chinese food. But right? it's not getting distributed to the people, to the hungry now, people. Now, now if, if China backs up, right? If mm -hmm. China backs up, either the, the Korean people dies. This is my take. Once again, this is sure, my sure, personal sure. take, right? Right. And either the Korean people will die or somebody like America will kick in and say, hey, we give you our food, right? But Kim Jong Un will never let the Korean people take the American food, right? Because right. then they might start thinking of freedom, or that other people in this world are not so bad. I know. Right. That's in the long run. That's right. what happens in the long run. In the short run, at the current time, though, you're talking about people have to eat two or three meals, at least two mm -hmm. meals a day to you to, to be alive. Right. Right. If you tell them, okay, wait. Give them like like one month of time, the American food will kick in. Mm -hmm. So before anyone, anything kicks in, right. they died already. Right. They're right. dead. Well, they're dead people already. So now, okay, my take is that what whatever it, a mess is in that peninsula has become a norm. Um, it has been for twenty five years at least. The, the, our our previous four presidents have all let them just continue to develop their military strength. Nothing done. Nothing done. Nothing done. But yeah. words. Yeah, getting worse and worse and worse. Right. Right. 
And uh, all of a sudden, when it is in Trump's hand, right. he wants to want, want, want them done. The wish is all right. I have no problem with that. Right. Right. As American, I'm in support with with the wish. But the thing is that when the problems are is accumulated or are accumulated to that extent, though, there's not a there's no overnight job. No overnight unless it was military. All right now. That's exactly I want to kick in, yeah. where I want to kick in. Yes, sir. Let's say there is a war. Let's say the war breaks up right now, mm -hmm. at the very moment as we speak, though. Right. Okay, now, how likely and how much can we guarantee that we'll take care of the whole thing within as shortly as 30 minutes? Not 30 minutes, but we have power that's just incomparable on planet Earth. Not 30 minutes. But, but the hope, the hope is, there, there is hope in that there's been more and more defectors from North Korea, okay? Mm -hmm. And they are really believing, because they're communicating with Radio Free Korea, uh, there's some communications and leaflets going from South Korea and defectors to North Korean people that can make them a little bit aware that there are other ways to live in, on, in, on planet Earth. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and there's, there is hope uh, through these defectors, uh -huh. but um, uh, I believe America will not do a strike to start the war. I believe the alternatives, if they shoot off a missile, shoot it down. That reminds me of one saying. Yes, sir. Uh, Apple said it, said that the best way to stop the financial crisis mm -hmm. is to give everybody a, an Apple phone. I'll drink to that. Right. I'll drink to and that. And then provide a Wi-Fi service right. through the satellite. That's right. So no, but nobody will stop them from, from learning. seeing or learning right. or understanding yeah. or knowing what's happening outside. See these, and then yeah. there comes Samsung saying, hey, we can do it. We don't have to bother uh, Apple. Yeah. And we can give them a Samsung phone, whatever, for the same thing. You know what? That's exactly. Sounds like a joke. <coughs> however, right. it's not. However, that's where exactly the problem comes from. Yeah, communication. If, yeah, if every single Korean is mm -hmm. equipped with the information about what's going on outside mm -hmm. the world, uh, outside their uh, territory, mm -hmm. they might take a different look of their great leader, great uh, whatever, father. Right, something. right, right, and they will. And, uh -huh. and there's, there's the, the, these, res these uh, defectors, okay? They, they, they're saying, you know, that a lot of the, the very poor people are dying every day, are yeah. eating bugs, are eating understandably, everything. Understandably, th this part belongs to the propaganda part belongs to propaganda, right? Okay, now, if we fix on, on the, fix our eye on the military attacks though, mm -hmm. to what extent do you think the attack will end up with? Oh, well, I don't think it would be, we would not be using nuclear weapons, I don't believe. All right. We would be using traditional, traditional. bombs, big mm, bombs, big you know, bombs, things yes, like that. Uh, uh, so, I, you know, we're not going to, you know, nuke them, I don't believe. Yeah, huh? uh, I don't know that they have the capability to try to do that to South would Korea that, or not. I would, don't that, think so. would that secure the possibility of their retaliation with nuclear bombs? I don't know. We do know where their sites are generally, okay? We're, we have good mm -hmm. information. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, and we would try to take those sites out right away okay that's all where right. our big oh, yeah, bombs yeah, all of a sudden understand. if these bombs go down 200 300 mm -hmm. feet you know in the ground mm -hmm. and blow everything up suppose we knew we know we, we know them right yeah but how big is the security that we know 100 percent all they needed yeah. for that to happen is to to have one survive the first attack and the next thing is uh, just a push of a button well and if they do that jack Pyongyang will not exist. It will be flat I know, ground. I know, I know. And that's know. very sad. I know. But but I'd rather it be that city than LA, New York, San Francisco. I know, I know. Yeah. But the thing is that in kind of in, in the uh, military contact, military uh, combat, yeah. you're talking about uh, who has the most uh, militant power? The one who fears no death has the militant power. Well, you're going back to World War II and the Japanese. They exactly. Yeah. Sure. That's exactly. exactly. Yeah. The suicidal kind of kind of kind. Right. Right. Why the uh, human body bomb? That's right. The body bomb of the of the of the ISIS. Yeah. Are so right. So are so terrible. Yeah. 
because they are not human. They're happy to die. They're not die. afraid of death. So now, if the bush pudding guy, Kim Kim Jong Un, yeah. is willing to die, what about that? If he is, um, well, you know, I, I don't think he's suicidal, really. No. He thinks he thinks we will back down. Yeah, yeah, you're right. He right, thinks yeah, Trump yeah, yeah. will back down. I agree just with you. Just like Bush, Obama, I, and Clinton. I totally agree with you. Uh, my dear friends, today with my uh, brother Ken Hemming, I'm uh, we are kind of uh, touching the uh, the 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 hottest piece of cake. Yeah, <laughs> it's hot. <laughs> the uh, peninsula situation of Korea. Uh, let's take a short moment now. When we come back. We'll find out exactly by analyzing uh, military attack, though, see what extent, to what extent it's going to end up with. All right, so uh, stay with us. We'll be right back. Hello, dear friends, my lovely audiences, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the show. Me and my friend Ken Hemming, a uh, philosopher I respect a lot. And oh, by the way, he is a book writer. He's got a, a beautiful book, Life is Simple. I love it. But life is now is not simple to me. The planet Earth is not simple. Yeah, 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 not simple because we have, Very uh, we have so many <laughs> problems, right? Life is supposed to be simple. Right, right? it can okay. be. It can be. Right. Very good. Very good. Uh, the North Korean Peninsula situation, and namely we're talking about how likely the war's going to break, right? Mm -hmm. And we are, before talking about uh, how likely the war's going to break, though, we are jumping step forward to see what, to what extent the war will end up with. Yes. Okay. And by that, we came to one point, one first point, say, how are we going to secure that what we know is 100%? If there is a 1% of mistake, or there is one hole on the ground right. that is missed right. of the first attack though, all they need to retaliate is push a button to activate their nuclear power. Right. However, we have the FAD in South Korea, which is the, uh, the air defense uh, uh, missile system that can shoot down missiles. Now, I don't have any idea right. what happens if they send something off that's got a nuclear right. device, and if we blow it up, I don't know if that sets off the bomb or not. Right, right, I don't right, know. right, 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 right. I but, agree, but, I agree, I agree. And, and China's not happy that we've reinst reinstalled that in South Korea. It's okay, it's there, it's there anyway. It's right? there, hallelujah. No happy, no happy, right? Yeah. Okay, now, right, right. what I am th yeah. talking about is not the fact to prevent the, uh, the nuclear rocks mm -hmm to hit a target. Mm -hmm. Suppose it missed all target, right. but exploded. Well, there's a little bit of pollution all from right, that. All right, all right. Yeah. We're talking about uh, leaks. Yeah. We're ca talking about ex pollutions. Airplanes we're talking flying about the, around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're talking about the, the water, the seawater. Yeah. We're talking about the, the, the air. Yeah. Well, okay, now, suppose if you drop something, a ton of uh, chemicals, in the Korean Sea, within yes. a week, you will test, you will, you will see the, uh, you will detect the element on California foreshore. That's probably true. That yeah, makes sure. sense. Oh, now, makes so sense. that's why I say the core issue is not the thud, if the thud can or cannot stop it uh -huh. from hitting the target, mm -hmm. it is the fact that can we, the peace lover side, right. Peace on our side, stop it from activating the nuclear part, the contamination part. And that will have the whole area contaminated Russia, Japan, South Korea, China, especially Northeast China. And it really boils down to the, the leader of North Korea. Uh, the leader of North Korea does understand, I suspect, that if he does something nuclear, he is dead. Yeah. And is he willing to do that? Out of question. He's willing. Yeah. Right? For example, he's willing. 
Then what's his legacy? Well, of course, his legacy there's is no horrible. Legacy. There's well, no legacy. There's no legacy. There's no time for him to care <laughs> about any legacy. Right. right? Okay. Yep. Now, that's why I say in two sentences that I can stay in my mind. Uh -huh. I'm worried so much about the situation. However, I would say that I am no way of going against. I will never against the attack. Okay. Right. Okay. I will be worried so much about the consequences of right. the attack. Right, right, exactly. That's it, that's it. Because we do care. We've got 100,000 troops or something over there. Uh, uh, Seoul, Korea is 25, 30 miles from yes, the border. Yes, the consequences. All of that would be... Seoul is about 400 miles from, uh, from the border. Oh, right? I thought it was less, way less. Maybe I'm wrong. I, th I think Four, Seoul's pretty close, like 400. 30 miles. No, no, no. Okay. There's another city in between. Okay. Was it's also a major city. Yeah. That is uh, clo the closest. The closest I recall, if I'm right, okay. were something like uh, 20, 25 kilometers. Okay. Yeah. Right now. Okay. Now, if that happens, though, uh, regardless of the soul or whoever, yeah. they are all in the circle of the first contamination. Well, for nuclear, right. For nuclear, right. All right. right. That how we can prevent it from happening. You know, you can't. If we if are you do not, your best. If we are not way, way over 100%. Right. Of course, go ahead. Right, right, right sure. Go ahead. If you're, yeah. If, you're, if any yeah. say, oh, we're about 99% now, yeah. Jack will ask, say, how about 1%? Right, right. If you miss the 1%, yeah. there's going to be disaster, See, so devastating what are to the, the entire world. What are the other elements that's just as dangerous as nuclear, which is sort of a stupid statement, but is that the North Korea has all of these uh, uh, artillery pieces lined up facing facing uh, South Korea. Yeah, that's, that's and, a different story. And, yeah, but and some of them can get to the city, some can't. Mm -hmm. uh, and how long it would take us to take that out? Good question. That's a different question. That, that's a different, uh, 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 totally different uh, uh, subject. Right, but they would be shot off before yeah, nuclear. Because you were talking about, in, their case, in, this, in this case, you're talking about conventional Right. Artillery's exchange. But conventional is right? pretty powerful. Far, yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. I know. For the fire exchange. Yeah. Even that worst happens if you're a hit, the question is only yeah. you live or you die. Right. In between these two. The random nuclear of you is are. not. Nuclear right. is not. You will die like a dog and you will live like a dog if you are hit. Well, but, but also like, say in Hiroshima and Nagasaki, mm. there, there's, I think the total was about 170,000 dead or something. Today, there, even today. No, the bombs are bigger today too. No, no, I mean, even today, the consequences yeah. are still there. Women were still given birth, mm -hmm. given the de deformed, whatever, de uh -huh. de de deformed yeah, the uh, babies. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah, I don't know a lot about that. These days. I, I accept that, yeah. And to say, uh, Chernobyl, 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 yeah. Chernobyl, 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 yeah. right. By Russian Chernobyl, right. Chernobyl, okay. Chernobyl. Okay, good. Chernobyl, comrade. Yeah, thank you, <laughs> comrade Jack. Yeah, comrade, yeah, <laughs> not a comrade. Uh, the Tavarish, okay. Tavarish, yeah. Tavarish Jack, yeah. Okay. So, and there is still a dead city. Uh huh. Yeah. There is not right. even a not even a rat there. Yeah. In the whole city. Wow. So now that's how much, and in Fuma. The Fuma Island, okay. and that is still a dead city now. Three, four, or five years left already, right? Okay. No. Okay. So that is the thing that the thought cannot do. But, and then an overwhelming thought is we cannot risk America to be subject to You're right. being attacked. You're right. And it's a, that's look, the, the world's a, That's the other deep problem. Yeah, that's the other side of the coin. Right. All right, let's see how that coin, that side is serious. Yeah. Okay. We've been crying walls ever right. since. Right, right, right. Yeah, walls. Last one, yeah, right. Wall, again right. and again. Right, that's terrible. Okay, now, it goes like this. Okay, no more shooting, all right? Yeah. We warn you. Yeah. Boom, there goes another one. Right, right, exactly. Right. All right. No more shooting, I told you, no more shooting. We warn you. Well, Boom, there goes now, another one. Talk about crying wolves in Syria when, when they, they did something very bad, attacking. Boom, 59 missiles went in and took out that installation uh, that Syria had used as yeah. their. 
Syria, they did not have nuclear weapons. That's okay. We do not have that kind of worry. But we know? do have that same president who backs up his mouth. I know. I know. I know. That's but good. the thing is that we're not talking yeah. about what kind of president. We're talking about what kind of Korea that is, right? Okay. Okay. Now, uh, well, we did send 59 missiles there, yeah. the, the regular missile, traditional missile, missile there, right. to give them a good, uh, some good presence. Good presents, spanking. Yeah. Some good presence, right? right? Good spanking. Now, with this one, we say, no more shooting, all right? No more shooting. Boom, there goes another one. Right. No more shooting. We're going to punish you, punish you. It will stop. Boom, there goes another one. It will they stop will at some point. Okay, let me tell they you. They will not. Let me tell you. That it will. Why they would not stop. Yeah. Okay, now. Suppose, just assume, that Kim Jong-un is a person who wishes to live. Yeah, right, that'd be nice. Suppose, all right? I like that assumption. Suppose, right. Now, he has the power to, take, to, to, to keep, all right? He has a regime to continue, right? And he, so far, by brainwashing his people. From birth. <laughs> from birth. Right. Being so successful, right? Everybody believed that North Korea is the best, best country on yeah, earth. Absolutely, and that he's a right? god. The Kim Jong Un is the yeah. greatest man on earth ever, right? Uh, under the universe, right? right? Something like that. Yeah. Now, and yet they are hungry, and they are hungry. <laughs> right. They are so hungry. They are dying of hunger. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, his only excuse to his own people is to keep on doing the same thing, say, we got to tighten our belt right. because we have America. And we need our military, we, uh, so military, therefore we must right. support the military. See what I'm doing? Right. See where your money goes? Right. You that's see where your food your goes? Boom. Yeah. yeah, that's your money. Yeah. That's your food. Right. And the people say, oh, yeah, all right. Let's tighten another buckle, something like that. You know, they yeah. have more people. Okay, now. Yeah. So that is the way, I, I mean, I, I'm very sorry. I mean, to continue mm -hmm. to make, to finish that point, yeah, yeah. that suppose he, that I mean, Kim, Kim, Kim Jong, Kim Jong Un, mm -hmm. oh, such a name. Even the name is kind of like. Uh, I just call him Fat Boy. Trouble. You know, the Fat Boy, the Fat Guy. Okay, the Fat <laughs> he Guy. He doesn't deserve my suppose respect. The fat, suppose the Fat Guy uh, wants to live. Right? right. So his problem makes him to continue doing what he's doing just to make the situation even worse. See, now, Jack, I want to know if you agree with this. I don't believe that he is afraid of America. What he is afraid of is his own people starting to see the light. All right. And, and very good. Them. Very good. I believe I that's agree the with main you. fear. I agree with us. you on that. Okay. Yeah. I mean, there is a difference, a big difference to me, my, my understanding, there's a big difference between what he believes and the, what mm -hmm. the fact is. Mm -hmm. The fact is that he did not even believe what he believes. All That'd right? True. Okay, now, his right. only way to keep his regime, keep himself in power, is keep on shooting. That's yeah. his way of survival. And not only shooting rockets, but also killing his own people yeah. that he thinks Everything. might be a little impure in their dedication. Right. The number two guy in, in North Korea just word, disappeared okay, the last you two You don't get my point. My point is yes, that I'm sorry. he will continue to shoot, and which, is all, which is all it is about. The, Amer the Korean shooting, right? Mm -hmm. And he will have to continue to shoot to keep his people calm down right. now yeah the shooting we take as an insult on the face we told you question. stop shooting spitting on we our told face. you we told you stop shooting right why are you still shooting right here goes the retaliation here goes your punishment right. and the war the war we go back when we started will end up in a situation like if there's a one miss gonna be hell well so you know, see how they kind of bind to each other? Each oh, other? absolutely. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, um, I think the next step is, you know, America can actually have a complete uh, naval blockade of all of the North Korean uh, uh, land that touches the sea. We can do that. We can declare a no-fly zone over North Korea, but we'd have to enforce it then with our jets and our power. We could do that. That would put some more great strain on 
unfortunately, the people of North Korea. But of that's, course, of course. But that's, uh, and that is that's still with the inside, within range of conventional war yeah. and conventional strategy. Very right. serious intimidation. We're talking about an unconventional right. Right, strategy right. that is necessary. Uh, my dear friend, with my brother Ken Hemming, we are having some hard time uh, to understand the North Peninsula situation. Impossible. In other words, the war, should the war go break, should the war not. And uh, either way, we have a lot of problems, right? Either so, way. Either way. Yeah. Either way. <laughs> okay, let's take a very short moment now. Uh, when we come back, we'll find out if there is a third, any third way. Still, please. Hello, my dear friend, my lovely audiences, uh, my dear fellow Americans. I know how the American proud is important to you. It right? is. And the American pride is, uh, is, the, is our core value of uh, where we are, right? So we cannot take any insult, especially the kind of insult in the face, when we say, no more shooting, boom, there goes another one, right? When no more shooting, there goes another one. In other words, we have to do something sooner or later. Well, and that's... The number one responsibility of the President of the United States is to protect the country, to protect the lives of our citizens. I agree. And that's why we must do what we must do to do that, which includes a border wall that will save some Americans from getting killed. Let's, let's, let's focus I, I on, the, uh, on the peninsula but situation. On the yeah. global mm -hmm. uh, uh, responsibility yeah. of mm -hmm. protecting our lives. I agree. This is one I of the many I do agree. I do events. agree. And we are the number one. If you're happy or not happy, we're the number one. And we want to be the number one. We shall continue being the number one. That's not a question, right? I believe. Question that. is that now, when the number one is having a hard, hard time. Hard time. A very hard time, right? Okay, now, okay, now, can we? I mean, I don't know. Maybe sometime you and I together sit here. We'll have the third party sit there uh, from the military. Oh, from a military Love professional it. point of view, right. how precisely? Can we do the war? Can we do right. the attack? And I do hear these generals talking about this on television, okay? They don't, they don't say <laughs> the, uh, the articular they would pinpoint, never, pinpoint. They would never say that there is no risk if there was if And there also, was on the other hand, there are secrecies they can that limits them to, mm -hmm. to tell us how sure they are. I would that, rather. Well, that's true. I would rather wish. We can't. We can't yeah. I would. I would rather wish that's true. Yeah. Right, for because, sure. No. Yeah. We. Mm -hmm. think, you know, like, see, President Trump. He he says, you don't tell the enemy what you're going to do, which we did before. He said, you just do it. Okay. You just do it. You just yeah. do it, and mm -hmm. I love that. And the reason we uh, I call you for today is that uh, <laughs> there's a saying, uh, the the 18th. Okay. 18th, which is next Monday yes, it of is. this month, right. is going to be the best day to attack because uh, the weather says it's going to be so cold and it's going to be a night of no moon, something okay. like that. For us <laughs> yeah. to attack them? For us to attack. We're not going to do that. We're uh -huh. just not going to. Yeah. And, I don't uh, think. And I, I, I laughed at that idea. Mm -hmm. And that even if uh, we will, we will uh, attack them on the 18th, mm -hmm. how come... Uh, how, 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 how come you know that? How, yeah, right. How, how, how did you know that, right? right? Well, yeah. leaks. We mm -hmm. have leakers in this government that's unbelievable mm -hmm. no, no, and I know disloyal. That. Sometimes we do the leak purposely. Yeah. We do the leak purposely. Well, that's true. Yeah. And this is that's a, true. by, I would say, either by accident or somebody that's going yeah. to guess. Right, right. Only right. guess. I say, oh, yeah. And the next, the no moon night will be in January somewhere. Yeah. And uh, let's do it on the 18th or something. Ooh. Okay, now. Uh, yeah, to forget all the joke, forget all the jokes. We're talking about right. militarily. We are not sure. So far, we're not sure we can do the one hundred percent. Right. Right. I was saying Correct. about. Remember the other day, uh, that was two weeks, two weeks ago when you were here. Mm -hmm. I was talking about uh, assassination. It's always in my mind. 
Yeah. Do you think, compared to a large-scale war that has no secure of how it ends, right? Assassination might be a second option or, of, or an option to think about. Of the leader of North Korea? Yeah. We, our SEALs could do that in a heartbeat. Why don't we, why don't we, why don't we do it? I don't know. Mm -hmm. I think that's a good question. We can hand What'd pick, be really better would be to, to capture him and bring we can, him back. We can handpick everything. No, our people anything. can do amazing mm -hmm. things. And we know where he is. The we could the, take him out. Nowadays, a drone yeah, could yeah, take yeah. him out. Yeah. The nowadays technology. Yeah. Not even nowadays. About three, four, five years ago, I did a show with one uh, uh, army intelligence officer. Uh -huh. Uh, without the leaking the exact secrecy, yeah. so that uh, I can tell a soldier on duty in Afghanistan if he had shaved in the morning or not, sitting in my own office. Yes, I believe that. Sitting in his own office right, right. through satellite right. going all the you way to see. Afghanistan right. on a post, right. uh, a guard. That's amazing. But he will find if yeah. he shaved in the morning or right. not. Miss the little spot here. <laughs> That's yeah. right, exactly. All right, so yeah. that gives us the we security. We know where it is. Yeah. That gives us the security of we can, how far we can see. Yeah. Whether how much we can see. But you know, uh, most countries in, in, in America, uh, you know, we don't just go take out, okay? Now, this might be a good time. For example, back in World War II, we did not blow up. Uh, the uh, emperor, uh, 168 acre estate. Okay, we didn't do that. We left that alone for a reason. So maybe there's a reason related to that uh, and why we haven't done that. It well, could be done. Well, you're talking about uh, people around him, yeah, the family, stuff like that. I'm not sure why no one there has done it because, mm -hmm. because all these guys that are close to him know many others close to him have just been killed. And so they're, they're in line. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're in line, so end it, you know? <clears throat> and of course, that I don't, none of us know what happens if all of a sudden he disappears. And they're killed in the most horrible way. Really bad. Take his uncle, for example. Really bad, really uh, bad. His uncle was, uh, was blown with a, with, a, with, a, with a cannonball. Right, right. Boom, like that. Nice. Not even a piece left. Well, supposedly dogs ate one of them too. You know, they they do terrible things, Jack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, terrible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and see, like I I've had pain in my life, but I've never had torturous pain. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, mm -hmm. and you think about the millions and millions of people that have really no, no, no. had horrible things. To happen. to be blown with a cannonball, you don't even feel the pain. Oh, you die fast. Yeah, there's no pain in that. Yeah, there's no you pain just at all. Evaporate. Yeah, it goes faster than your nerve travels. Right. right? Yeah. So. You're gone. Go after. Yeah, that'd but be a, a dog, but a dog yeah. beating, beating uh, that'd oh, be a, that'd be a lot. Just torture. Yeah. That'd be a lot. Yeah, that'd be a lot. It's so, terrible. So, in other words, you believe, you still, you, you agree with me that assassination is better than war. If the Am results, I right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. now. Yeah. Speaking of that, though, we can do multi-target at the same time. Mm -hmm. Right? Yes, like a, I know where. Yeah, yeah, where King, you're going. King King Jong Un, right? Mm -hmm. Number two, number one, and then number two, number three, number four, number five, all the way. Mm -hmm. We put it in the motion, you know, in a movable motion that at a satellite, at a certain minute, a certain moment, mm -hmm. that tells exactly every who everyone is, mm -hmm. and each target, for example, any of the three, four, five targets. We give them like say four rockets, mm -hmm. right? And then at a three, two, one, boom, they all go differently to their target and get all of them taken care of in the first second. Mm -hmm. That will probably be the case. Yeah, and you got you know you got their military people spread all over. Mili I don't know how militarily they talk, they call it. Mm -hmm. What kind of action? They must have a, a name. Yeah. Right. So the multi-target attack, or the concurrent uh, elimination. Yeah, yeah. All at the concurrent, same time. concurrent, con well, whatever. Yeah. yeah. Uh, assassination, and yeah. so on and so forth. Yeah. Now, when the leaders are gone, and you're talking about people there, right? You send in a temporary government. 
which you prepared beforehand to take care of the everyday supplies like water, like food, like、uh, clothing for, for winter, for well, winter time. Could China help in that too? Yeah, China that, will. That it's got South Korea, China,、uh, America, we、China、all will, try absolutely. to. China will, absolutely. China is now, even now, is building at least three, as far as I know,、mm-hmm. I last read, of the、uh, ret- refugee campaigns. Uh, refugee camps. Camps, yeah.、Uh, refugee in China? camps in China. In China. Along in case the border, they flood across along the, the border. border. In case they、yeah. flood in. Right. 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 So, hu- from a humanitarian point of view, China is prepared. They, they estimate that two million people would run across the border to China. China also has troops there to try to dissuade them from doing it, okay?、Mm-hmm. So, I don't know what would happen, but, but people would be going but over there. But right now,、there. when they come over. Yeah. They still stay in China. No. No, no, no. No, they're sending them back. No, no, no. You're sending them back to get killed. That's what's happening. That's happening a lot right now, Jack. I just read it. You think so? Yeah. Well, I don't know, so I read it that people are getting sent back there and then get tortured and killed. Yeah, but. but, but just but like we're sending them. But for sure, that if you send them back, they are killed. Yes, they're, they're toast. They're killed, right? Right. So now, and China is preparing themselves even now for the humanitarian support. Sure. So now, when the temporary government, after the first assassination attack,、mm-hmm. you call it concurrent attack, whatever, yeah, multi target,、right. multi target, will probably kick in with the food, with the clothing, with blankets. I believe China and America and South Korea could hug each other and provide support. Exactly. South Korea first, because they are, they are the closest. Yeah. China the second, cross the water. <laughs> they're close. Cross the water. They're we're、close. here. <laughs> They can be there. Yeah. But we、And、do have a lot of. United States might be, the, might be the next day, next morning. They, they are there. Let me ask this. What do you think, what kind of government should North Korea have? We can't put democracy in there. It's not going to work. What would it be? I, I don't know. Democracy. It, no question. Well, that's what we would dream of. That's what I would dream of. But would, would China allow democracy to of course. thrive in, in North of course. Korea? Of course. Is not China a cup of tea? What about reunification?、South、reunify, well, they can reunify whatsoever. When you send in the government, you、mm-hmm. send in the format.、Mm-hmm. I mean, the, the, the temporary government, right? Right. You send the, the format. The format goes with democracy. See, one, one of the deals I think about is when East Germany, you know, we tore down the wall and East Germany flooded into West Germany. West Germany was hurt badly by. The poverty and the horror of、uh, the East German existence. Yeah, for time being. For, for, for time a being. short time being. Right, right.、Mm-hmm. That's right. And later, pretty soon, they kind of merged、right. into the everyday life、yeah. of West Germany,、yeah. and they become Western Germany themselves. Right. right? Okay, my dear friends, it looks that、like、there's a third way of,、uh, of doing it. Instead of、uh, a war, as,、uh, which is so risky,、uh, with me today is my friend Ken Hemming. My dear brother, who sometimes I disagree with and I even argue with, but I love a lot for that, that we both share the same love to America. Yes, sir. Which is, never un, which is unchallenged, never challengeable. Absolutely. Don't try us. Firm. <laughs> you try, you will fail. Right. right? Okay. Now,、uh, let's take a short moment now. When we come back, we'll continue working to see if there is still another way. Right. So. We have three ways now. Let's see if there is any fourth way.、Okay. Now, stay with us. Hello, dear friends, my lovely audiences. Welcome back to the show. Uh, Jack Chow on the East West with the GNE TV. With me, my good friend、uh, Ken Hemming, who has done about、uh, 176 or 77. 176 today. 176、hallelujah. shows with me. Hallelujah. With me ever <laughs> since. Oh, that's a lot of, a lot of time, right? It's、okay. a good start. Good start. <laughs> <laughs> And he, you are a star. He is a star. Good start. And、uh, last week, no, the week before, We had an、uh, appreciation party、oh, yeah. where I invited all my friends who、yeah. are the ones the, the, on the show、yeah. to share the moment. It was great. And we salute each other, congratulate each other 
and we're ready for our next year. Right? There were a lot of yeah. people. That was a beautiful event put on in a wonderful way by your Thank beautiful you very company. Much. Thank you very much. And, and uh, uh, we, we feel kind of like uh, we need to say something to the community, yeah. which is our appreciation. And together, we that are cultivating fun. our community. Yeah. Right. The right. Word, you cultivating. are. All right. Now, talking about cultivating, there is a discuss this discussion, uh, too, which is a subject that we worry so much. We concerned our, we are concerned so much about the North Peninsula situation. Should there be a war? Should there not be a war? Once there is a war, how can we do it? Mm -hmm. And uh, how we can, can secure the consequences um, within range of uh, traditional conventional war. Mm -hmm. Anything goes out of bound will trigger at the end of this, I mean, the end of the world is going to be so disastrous. Well, we're going to probably create a World War Three now. Anyway, now that would be bad, bad, so bad. That would be bad. Uh, we, at the end of the last segment, came to a point to check if there is another way, still another way, in addition to the frame. Do you think there is still another way? Well, prayer is one way. Nah. Well, I'm just saying. No, no, you're kidding. I pray you're for kidding. peace. No, we can do that. Yeah, right. I mean, it's mm -hmm. a way. Okay. We can do that. You can do that. Um, is there another? Well, we haven't really talked about Russia. Mm -hmm. Russia could help. And yesterday, Jack, uh, President Trump had a telephone call, a long one, with Putin of Russia. Oh, speaking of Russia, you heard this morning that the uh, Russian airplanes that had the Polish uh, president and the president, the first lady, killed in that crash? I haven't heard about any crash. Vladimir what Putin, happened? Vladimir Putin was, uh, um, well, anyway, said, was said to be the one behind it, was accused. So the, uh, now, it, with the Polish president in an airplane in the air. Did you recall that? I, I didn't see no, it. That's, no, no, you didn't see it, of course. I didn't see was it Was it either. today you said, though? No, 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 no. Oh, the, the Polish, <coughs> the Polish president okay. and the first lady yeah. were on a Russian airplane. Okay, and that was uh, crashed. Yeah, 2010. Oh, 2010. Yeah. Oh, okay. The reason, oh, okay. I, the reason I know that okay. so yeah. much Thank because you. is because the first lady of Poland mm -hmm. was a friend of a Chinese American film festival. I love it. I love yeah. it. I love it. She came here. She was uh, one time. A presenter on stage, really, for one of the awards, and you got to meet her. Yeah, of course. Fantastic. I Fantastic. met her several times. Fantastic. And very nice and lady. She perished in that. Yeah, she oh perished. A very nice lady, very humbled. Yeah. May God bless her soul. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And uh, was killed. No, they both were. Yeah. Killed in the crash, and that crash this morning, according yeah. to the news, that they accused. Yeah. Only acquisition, all right? Right, right. That you say, yeah. Vladimir Putin was behind it. He could be behind anything conceivable. And do you know what Putin's response was? Grow up, you guys grow up. He just had a three hour and 45 minute press conference where people, Putin, uh, where people were asking really, really strong questions. Mm -hmm. And he knew what to avoid him and not to say what he wants, you know. <clears throat> but it was a in which marathon way, press conference. In which conference. way do you think, in which way do you think a Russian can get involved in resolving the situation? Or. Well, yeah. Or. They, well, yeah, go they ahead. have active trade activities with uh, North Korea, mm -hmm. and they could back off on that. In, 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 according to whatever the reports were, uh, with Putin talking to Trump yesterday, they were trying to figure out ways that they could denuclearize North Korea. It doesn't do Russia any good if North Korea's got a lot of nukes either. Oh yeah, of it course. doesn't do China doesn't any do, good either. Doesn't do nobody. Doesn't because do nobody. Yeah, because yeah. Uh, North Korea is not going to say, well, let's just go after America. I love Russia, I love China. I mean, they don't love anybody. I mean, mm. He doesn't love anybody but him, mm. I think. Uh, but, um, and you can't buy his loyalty, you can't buy him off because he just doesn't see that because he's really at risk of losing his control over his own people because their life is so miserable, they just don't fully know it yet. Would that be some, uh, some thought? I'm just uh, thinking in a wild way, very wild way. Mm -hmm. Creative that, way. Uh, yeah, creative way. Right. 
that the uh, United States, China, and Russia, including Japan, Absolutely, all yeah. rush in to adopt the, Amer the, the Korean people. Well, that would, adopt, adopt. Yeah, well, adopt the uh, uh, the area to help them uh, have a nation that that is works for its people. Yes. Well, just say, uh, just say during during the uh, Japanese war, right? American groups, or, uh, church groups, religious groups, uh, mm -hmm. even Europe, mm -hmm. came in to help. Mm -hmm. They each draw a circle, okay, to 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 rescue people. Okay, right. Americans did the number one job. Okay. For that, people still remember. Right? Sure. Okay. Now I'm thinking about China, Russia, South Korea, and Japan all rush in. So disarmed. You mean to split Dis up the country into yeah, different yeah. little areas? Disarmed, disarmed uh -huh. to aid the people with the food, with the medicine, with the doctors and stuff like that. Oh, I think I think I think and, all four countries would do and it. That would I think be Russia a, would. I, that yeah. would be a start because people talk, right? Yeah. That would be a start for the people, the people, the Korean people, to know what's going on outside. Yeah. The problem is everybody, and that would I think include China and Russia, just expects America to pay for most of anything, just like the United no, Nations. No, we're not. We're, we're not. stuck. Remember, you and I we were talking about the U.S. being foolish for quite a bit. We're, we're paying too we much, have, we're taking right. too much money out of our pocket. Right, we have. Which is not our cup of tea. Right. And we're right. still paying for it now. Right. Let them pay. Well, then I agree. Right. But this is the moment, yeah. really, everybody needs to do something. Because, you know, it's, it's, it's not a large country, 24 million people approximately. I, I don't know the square, you know, square miles of the uh, land mass, mm. but um, it is creating tremendous havoc in the in the world it's right about now. the size it's, of it's uh, in the news every day all day it's about the size of uh california probably okay yeah i can yeah. picture it in my eyes yeah, yeah. yeah pro probably similar yeah to 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 california and we've got 40 million people yeah 24 million is not a big deal it's not a no. big deal for that piece of land though correct no it's mm. not overcrowded but the thing is that they are so starved that they their land is so poor that do not yell lots of good food, and then they are hungry, and then everything they eat goes to the Their military. population may be in a little decline. I'm not sure, because so many die. I don't know how many babies they have. I could look at that and find out fast, but I'm not sure. Well, yeah, of course, yeah. of course. Well, and of course, if, mm -hmm. you're, why, if you're sweethearts, why do you want to bring a baby into mm -hmm. the life of that, the yeah, life of poverty? Yeah, yeah. That's a good question, And too. the uh, the soldier who just uh, ran across the line, remember in, Got, uh, got shot uh, five the, times and yeah, he's yeah. living. Yeah, yeah. Right. And uh, he was shot, but he survived. Yes. You know what they found out from his stomach? Oh, it, total poison throughout his whole system. Ugh. From what Ugh. they're eating. They're eating yeah. garbage. Oh, yeah, yeah. Literally so, garbage. And that is a high-ranking soldier. Yeah, and so the soldiers get fed Relative, better than the peasants. Relatively, relatively, uh, right. he eats better. Oh, God, yes. Than, uh, than a farmer. And his, it, his intestines were just a mess. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, so horrible. That's how the people are yeah. at this moment. So yeah. from a humanitarian point of view, the UN has to do something. Mm -hmm. How about UN, some peace officers going in there to, to, to treat it, to, to treat it Okay, now, forget the military, forget it whatsoever. Yes, sir. Right? Forget the politics. Just let humanitarianism I'd like in. to forget politics. Right? Yeah. Okay, now, UN sit together, all the councils vote on a resolution of sending the peacemaking troops there along with their material aid, mm -hmm. doing nothing but just to save the people. But the leader of North Korea will not allow nice and kind no, no, activities. No. Not allowing or not, in, if you and pressures them to do so, they have to, to listen, because you're talking about UN. The uh, UN is very ineffective. I don't think the Kim Jong-un would, would go against the UN. Of course he would. He would? Absolutely. One of the North Korean guys in the UN yesterday was saying America is so afraid of, of the power of North Korea. It was just like a fantasy, like he was on drugs or something. Absolutely, he doesn't care about the UN. Mm. I don't really, really like the UN that much. I'd like him to leave, leave America. In other words, I was looking for the third way. I like your I thought. mean, the fourth, the fourth way. Yeah. 
Your uh, thoughts I'll, beautiful. I'll, 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 I'll doing, I'll doing it. Yeah. Because I'm worried about those people, many people dying. See, I don't know. Dying of starvation. I don't know what kind of air force North Korea has. I really don't. But I mean, you could, if you could fly over and drop supplies to areas where you know it's needed, um, we would do that. You no, know, they can bomb you. Well, because, because without permission, <laughs> you're invading the air. Well, but what I don't know is if they have uh, jet aircraft that could really shoot us down. Uh, you drop it from high enough. Yeah, they can do that. They can do that. Oh, yeah. from I don't high, know. high enough? Yeah, I no, don't. They, high enough, that goes the ocean. Well, it all depends, you know, where the wind blows or whatever. But yeah, but, but anyway, that would be nice. But I, I just don't know what their Air Force is. I need to research that. Well, I don't anyway, know. anyway. Yeah. So by looking at me in the cam, you will see how serious the situation is. You'll just see hope without yeah, two, an answer. Two sober-minded guys now push into kind of like a foolish ideas. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah. We're even thinking foolishly. Yeah. Anyway, they deserve to be to be to be rescued. They're human being. They are human beings. Thinking of that soldier, I can't help feeling feeling kind of like a. Kind of, kind of, Chilled. He took a yeah, risk yeah, yeah. that so, you can't yeah. believe. Mm -hmm. And then one of the North Korean guys that was shooting at him ran accidentally across the border, and he realized he was across the border. And they showed on video, and he turned around and yeah, ran and back ran, as ran fast as he could. Yeah, Looked yeah. like a, you yeah. know, a cat he might chasing get, his tail. He might get killed. It could. He, he might get killed. Oh, yeah. I know. Yeah. Mm, well, I, I would rather wish he continues a few steps. And may, keep going. Follow may, the yeah, guy to freedom. Make him a free man. That's, That's right. right. Me right. too. That would have been really exciting. Yeah, sure. Yeah. All right, good. Okay, my dear friends, today with my friend Ken Hemming, uh, we tried everything we can we did. to see we if did. we can help with any of the peninsula situation. We did. To conclude, uh, we would like to say that uh, we wish, even though we wish, we are as Americans, wish there's going to be a war, uh, the war does it so clearly, so thoroughly, mm -hmm. to the extent that nobody can get a hand on the nuclear retaliation. Mm. Right. But That's that true. is only wish. Right. That's our There's wish. no military way to secure that if you miss 1%, just by 1%, that could the worst could happen. And number two, you're talking about all the other countries mm -hmm, doing something, well, uh, not militarily, but humanitarianly, uh, see if they can put some aid to to save the people. Mm -hmm. And thirdly, we're talking about uh, assassination. If assassination will work, and we even recommended some multi-target assassination, right. con concurrent, concurrent assassination, assassination that probably to replace, uh, for the purpose of replacing a war. The leaders. And fourthly, we tried to send some UN troops with some aid right. through the air. Right? <laughs> Anything. Right. Airborne, yeah. stuff like that, right. anything. Well, anyway, we're no military guys, but we are peace lovers. We love peace so much. Yeah, we we're, do. So it is so hurting to look at what's happening there, but uh, we wish that we'll keep it up. One thing for sure, we don't think there's going to be a war. Anyway, right? So see you next time, my dear friend. Thank you.